Okay, so we are installing a Sidescope 1160 on AWS machine, which is completely cool. And yeah, so as you see on your screen, it kind of says, well, you did some changes that need the machine to be rebooted. We want to continue or not? And we're like, yeah, continue. Yeah, don't, don't care about that. We're not talking about all this kind of stuff. We're just talking about getting the site scope working. So see site scope and let's see, yes, no previous installations, everything is fine. Then we go to install and this is not a very important or interesting part. The interesting part later will be the hardening of site scope in general. And uh, if I remember correctly, it pops out in the post install steps. So we'll just speed up the installation unless you really want to see the uh, progress bar moving slowly then reduce the speed of this video. I'm going to be sitting on this while we wait. And there's the wizard. Okay, so the port would be 443. License, we're not going to use any license. Use this account. Service name, no. Use the local account because we don't want to run the uh, Sitecop service with something uh, non-orthodox, let's say. Now, Enable HTTPS upload certification. No, we're going to do the new option that was released not too long ago. HTTPS port, yes or no? Yes. And then uh, self-signed certificate, key store password. Well, the, the usual one. Common name, it was going to be uh, site scope. Uh, yeah. Organization, Microfocus, Location, AWS, <laughs> State, AWS, yeah. Country, AWS event. And Validity for days, well, how much is three years? 1,000 days. Not really, but yeah. CAC, Enable. Attribute used to identify users. I have no idea what CAC is, but yeah. Uh, HTTPS port or no? Uh, HTTPS port, no. Yes. Oh, port number. It's port number. Okay, yeah. Uh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was funny. Never funny. Okay. Do not import configuration. Yes. Do not import. There we go. Another progress bar. This was actually pretty fast. I thought I would be staring at the screen for like 10 minutes. It wasn't more like three and a half. Fine with me. Oh, I was staring at a screen, you were staring at commercials, but now, oh yeah, it's a next, so I need to approve, you know, yeah, okay, sorry about all the rant, but as you see, sometimes you just need to click this next button. Okay, and we have ourselves a side scope with HTTPS set up, so we're not going to put an agent on it in this video. But we are going to use an external client in order to access it. What I do hope 
Is that my Internet Explorer? Do I have Internet Explorer? Internet Explorer. I do have one. It just don't open Edge. Oh, is that Edge? No, no, it isn't. Okay, good. good. Alright, so then we will go and connect to this machine from outside. And I have a feeling, just a feeling, HTTPS colon slash slash this uh, site scope. It would still redirect me, right? But yeah. Let's see. Uh, ready to use. No, don't enable. Yeah, 443 is not available on this machine. So, I don't want to go through a trouble of installing local java client on this machine and then getting all the security exceptions in the java configuration and in the browser in order to access the ui so we'll just say that uh, it works and someone needs to open the aws firewall in order for me to access it from the outside so i hope you enjoyed it don't no need to click like just subscribe or share it via linkedin it helps a lot see you in the next one